What's going on, everybody? I'm Chris Cochran, and I'm joined by my good friend, Ron Eddings. Hey, everyone. And we are the hosts of the Hacker Valley Studio podcast, and it is our honor and privilege to MC and host the first ever Purple Hats Conference put on by Attack IQ. It's going to be an incredible event, and it's our honor because we are amongst so many cybersecurity professionals out there, so it's going to be a great time. And this event is all about you. The Purple Hats community around the globe has been working hard to make cyberspace a safe place. During this conference, we'll be talking threat informed defense, risk management, MITRE attack, purple teaming, and even Simpson episodes. We'll get into all of that. But first, Chris is going to share a couple things to keep in mind during the event. Yeah, we're going to have breakout sessions, and in those breakout sessions, we'll have Q&A. So be sure you don't be shy. Ask the questions that you want to ask because somebody else might have that very same question. Also, there are going to be polls and surveys, and each one of those engagements will give you one additional point to enter into our raffle. And that raffle is going to allow you to be able to present $1,000 amongst a list of these incredible charities that Attack IQ has brought together. So be sure to engage as much as possible. Yes. And we also want to give a big shout out to Chris Greco, senior consultant and trainer of Greco Technology, also known as Grec Tech. Chris was kind enough to share the name Purple Hats with Attack IQ. Chris, thank you so much for your generosity and being such a great community advocate. And with that, we're going to jump right to our very first keynote, Brett Galloway, the CEO of Attack IQ. He's going to be talking about cybersecurity transformation, both this year and beyond. With that, let's get it over to you, Brett. We've spent the last 14 months coping with COVID. What will be the enduring consequence of COVID on business? The acceleration of digital transformation. CEOs today must actively consider how to use digital technologies to transform how they do business, how people work, how the organizations make decisions, and how offers are delivered to customers. Mark Andreessen famously said in 2011 that software is eating the world. In 2020, it took several huge bites. Let's talk about what that means for the cybersecurity industry. Before getting into that, though, let me introduce myself. I'm Brett Galloway, the CEO of Attack IQ, and I'd like to welcome you to the first ever Purple Hats Conference. Early in my career, I was a software engineer, so the truth of Murphy's Law is burned into me. What can go wrong will go wrong. The presence of bugs is an iron law of software. Why does that matter to us now? There's an ever-growing army of people poised to exploit those bugs for their own benefit, and the harm of their targets. We know this well, vulnerability is eternal. There is always another vulnerable system, either a known vulnerability that you can't patch or a zero day waiting to be exploited. That is why we have security programs to protect vulnerable systems from the adversary. What is the obvious fact about security programs? They keep failing. We read about such failures every few weeks in the press, and we know that is only a small fraction of the security program failures that occur. I hate to tell you, with digital transformation accelerating, all of our businesses are going to become even more vulnerable to cyber attacks. So what does that mean for us? It means that we have to work smarter. For the last decade, the primary response to the risk of cyber attack has been more, more people, more budget, more controls, more vendors. When I left Cisco 10 years ago, enterprise security was mostly firewall and antivirus administration. But over the intervening 10 years, most enterprises have acquired professional security teams led by CISOs and an array of security controls and vendors deployed to protect vulnerable systems. Now it's time to move from more to better. So what does better look like? First, better means operating more systematically with MITRE ATT&CK. Attack is the biggest thing to happen in cybersecurity in recent years. For the first time, Attack gives enterprise security teams the ability to communicate and reason about adversary behavior systematically. But the real magic of Attack doesn't lie in the Attack matrix itself, but rather in the ability to use Attack to unify offensive and defensive analysis. MITRE calls this threat-informed defense. 
We at Attack IQ are proud to be working with MITRE Ingenuity's Center for Threat Informed Defense to realize MITRE's vision to make attack the hub of a threat informed defense. So what is it? Put simply, to secure yourself, you need to think like the adversary. How will they target you? What can you do to defend yourself against their approach? A threat informed defense uses attack to focus on the adversary's tactics, techniques, and procedures to maximize defensive effectiveness. Second, better means adopting purple teaming. A purple team isn't itself a new team, but rather it's an organizational construct that aligns the best of red and blue, busting silos and unifying offensive and defensive capabilities. Purple teamers focus on the overarching threat landscape, they understand their security technologies and they comprehend their organization and its operational attributes. They combine the threat focus of the red team and the defensive focus of the blue team to test an organization's defenses continuously. Third, better means automation. Much ink has been spent talking about the importance of automation to security operations in areas like SIM and SOAR, so I won't dwell on that. I will speak to a different kind of automation, automated security control validation. Why does this matter? The vast majority of enterprise breaches are due to security control failure. It isn't that enterprises haven't built security programs, they have, and it isn't even that the adversaries are particularly brilliant. It's that security controls fail routinely. To understand why this is, let's consider the nature of a security control. A security control is a complex combination of technology, people, and process designed to detect or block the adversary. What do we know about complex combinations of technology, people, and process? They fail. How is it they're able to rely on such things? Because of an attribute so ubiquitous that we don't even notice it. A feedback loop. When they fail, we fix them. The problem with security controls is that they fail silently. Technically, their false negative rate is unobservable. We put in a security control hoping it doesn't miss much. The measure of utility of a security control is not what it detects or blocks, it's what it fails to detect or fails to block. Yet the control can't know what it fails to see. The only way to know how well a security control is working is to actively light it up the way the adversary does. Now this isn't a mystery. This is why red teams exist. The problem is that there aren't enough red teamers in the world to test everything. Therefore, security controls go largely untested. That is why they fail when needed most. Solving that is the next frontier for automation, continuous security control validation. Security control validation using MITRE ATT&CK isn't important just to find and correct individual errors though. It's also the basis to understand and optimize the effectiveness of the overall security program. It isn't just individual security controls that fail silently. Whole security programs fail silently. Without automated testing, there is simply no way to know the readiness of your program to deal with the next attack. Automated security control validation is Attack IQ's business. Our passion is fostering a community around the practice of a threat informed defense. That is why we launched Attack IQ Academy a year ago, and it's why we introduced this conference. The name Purple Hats is intentional. It's about bringing red and blue teams together, creating a community rallied around the benefits of a threat informed defense, and collaborating with MITRE and our Preactive Security Exchange distribution and channel partners. It's intentionally plural in name versus Purple Hat to underscore the value of team. Thank you for being part of our inaugural event. We hope you enjoy the great content, speakers and networking rooms, and look forward to collaborating with you on building a stronger, more resilient cybersecurity community.